Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. Today we're going to have a look at the LightSail satellite and how to track it and receive it ourselves at home. So for those of you who haven't seen this before, you can go to sail.planetary.org. I'll put all these links in the description and you can check out the LightSail satellite. This thing is now in orbit and is really, really cool concept. Can't wait to see this thing downlink some data and some imagery. So this is the concept. You can have a look through all the pictures on the website of the massive solar sail that should hopefully be deployed right now, but that's yet to be determined. And you can also follow them on YouTube. They have a great channel, lots of good videos on this. They have a blog as well if you want to stay up to date. And this is where I get some of my information. But most importantly, you go to their mission control website. And from here, you can see where the satellite is in real time. But that's not really good enough for us. I'd like to use a better tool. And there's a free tool, Orbitron, you've seen in my previous videos that we can use to track this. So this is Orbitron. It's free download. Go ahead and download it. You can check out my other videos. But what we need is we need to know where this satellite is. We need to tell Orbitron some information. So we need the TLE. And for those of you not familiar, the TLE is a two line segment set. It gives us the orbital elements and lets Orbitron track it. Uh, you need new ones of these every so often, every few days, uh, because orbit does change. So what we're going to do to set up the tracking, we're going to scroll all the way down on the website here. Here we have the frequency and the information on the satellite. We're going to click on View TLEs. Here are all the TLEs updated on Wednesday. We'll go ahead and we're going to highlight those. Uh, we can't copy them just yet, so we'll go back. Within your Orbitron directory is a TLE directory. What I do is just copy any one of them over to your desktop. We're going to rename that one Sail. Open it up. Delete everything out of there. Paste. We're going to go back to the website. Oh, and I unhighlighted it. We're going to take those again, copy those paste them into our new TLE file called sale, close that out. I'm going to go ahead, move our sale TLE into Orbitron. Now go back to Orbitron and we should be able to load it. Let's see if we can find it. it. should be called sale now. And there it is. Perfect. In this case, it's Ultrasat 7, which is the satellite of interest for us. And there it is. We're tracking it. So now that we're tracking it, we can do a bit more with this. If you have your Orbitron all set up for your area, which you do uh, under setup here, make sure that your time and date and everything are set correctly. We can go to our prediction and we can actually run a prediction on this. And I've got mine set to predict for the next day. You can set it to whatever you want. And now we can see the passes of the satellite. It looks like uh, tomorrow at 4.41 a.m., uh, pretty decent pass, not bad. Uh, there's a good one here. 11.20 a.m. tomorrow for my area here in southwestern Ontario. So if this thing is talking, I should be able to receive that. From here, if you'd like to set it up to be automated, what you can do is go into the rotor radio tab. Make sure you put the downlink frequency in of 437.435 megahertz, which we got off of the Mission Control website right here. That's our that's the downlink frequency. Now we can interface this with SDR Sharp and receive on our $10 USB sticks. I really like the SDR Sharp program. You'll see it in just about all my satellite decoding videos and it's just that simple. We can fire up the SDR, go down here to satellite tracking, make sure we're enabled for Orbitron and hit connect. And with any luck, we should be tracking the satellite here. Looks like we didn't start serving. There we go. Now we're actually locked in and tuning for Doppler for the Ultrasat 7 for the light sail. It's just that easy. When this comes over, I'm using a Comet disc cone antenna in this case right now. I'll maybe switch that over to my other antenna. But when this comes over, 
we should be able to record it. And uh, I'll maybe set this up to record a baseband recording. That way we can review it and play with it later. And hopefully in the next video, maybe I'll get to show you guys some, uh, some downlink live from the LightSail satellite. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. Good luck in all your electronics ventures. Go out there, uh, try receiving a satellite. Try receiving a CubeSat. Really cool, fun. It's neat to get involved with science and uh, change the world someday, maybe. Cheers, guys.